I'm telling you something right now that is something that only neuroscientists know. And a lot of neuroscientists don't even know this because they don't think this deep. When you do things in life, your, your brain doesn't really, the, the actual core of your brain is just electricity and chemicals. That's it. There is no consciousness. There is no, oh, this is Farhan or this is, you know, dark testosterone. There is no, this is Stockholm. Like this is very much consciousness. So in your, if you want to change your mind, Okay, you have to change those chemicals, those synapses from the inside out. So I learned how to do that. So why did I go to Vegas? Because I knew this is 101 brain change. Get rid of the environment you're in. The last truth that I covered, the testosterone truth, I wanted to make sure that I get rid of the environment that I was in, surrounded by my parents, living in a city that I hate and is very toxic to me and I can't express myself in. Being addicted to porn. So being in an environment which triggers my porn addiction. All of that was right then and there. I wanted to get out of there. And I knew that I had to be around people in a group, in a tribe that can change this. Because I know how to do it, but I still have to do it. And this is what a lot of you are facing. You're watching my videos, you're watching other people's videos, but there's no change happening because you're not actually doing. Sometimes you're gonna watch something and your brain is gonna think you already did it because you watched it. Maybe you've heard of mirror neurons. These are neurons that fire when someone else is doing something, but your brain thinks you did it. You might've heard of this concept of moral satiety in which if you talk a lot about something or you watch something or you hear something, your brain thinks you already did it. You probably notice, you might say something like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow, but you never go. It's because your brain thinks you already did it. Because you said it. Imagination, feedback from auditory system. Your brain thinks you already did that. So you don't do it because you already did it. So be careful of these things. Be very, very careful. So I, when I moved to Vegas, I put myself in a position to change because I was around an environment which allows me to change. Then I went to strength camp with Elliot Hulse. It's a very big uh, you know, strength training facility, and I learned how to weight lift. I learned how to get fit. I learned how to get a six-pack. I learned how to look good naked. But even at that time, I wasn't having good sex. I still had limp dick. So I realized that just from training and just from understanding how to be attractive and actually have the girl in your bed, that's not enough. You can't just go train, and I was sleeping well too. You can't just go train and sleep well and know how to get attractive girls in bed and then actually have sex with them. It's not all there is. There's more to that. For me, I had to realize that in order for me to have a great diet, amazing exercise, I also have to figure out how to stretch my sex muscles. I still have to figure out how to work on my glutes. Because if my sex muscles aren't rejuvenated, aren't awake, then it doesn't matter how strong I am. I won't be able to have good sex. It doesn't matter how good I feel in terms of how well I do at the gym, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of guys who go to the gym all the time, they have limb dick too. There's a lot of guys who have amazing nutrition, they have limb dick too. It's not just about that, it's the complete package. And I had to learn through herbs, through spices, through eating well, through exercising, through sleeping, through mentally reprogramming my brain. So when I'm with a girl, she knows my story. I'm I've expressed myself fully to her. Okay, so there's that component too. Now, if you don't have any sexual anxiety, if you don't have any social anxiety, then you can get full erection just through diet, sleep, exercise, as long as it's customized to you. You can get there. 
So again, it's all customization. It's all case by case basis.